Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY. We'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So we'll start off with the technical analysis. We're currently down 2% on the 1-hour chart. We're now oversold on the 1-hour side. We were on positive MACD. We saw a divergence overnight between Thursday and Friday. And as for the four hour chart, we, we start to see sideways action for MACD now after converging. And we have now breached the 200 moving average on the four hour chart. And there is more possible downside reason why we have not reached oversold RSI on the four hour chart. As for the daily chart, if we expand out further, we are starting to approach to the negative MACD and we're now resting on the 200 day moving average, this green line. After diverging the 9 moving average onto the 18 day moving average, the blue and purple line respectively, we may see the purple line, the 18 day moving average acting as our next resistance. So we'll mark that as our resistance to the upside, which is around a range of $311.36 and as for support if we do manage to break below the 200 day moving average this green line the next possible support will be the 50 day moving average which is this yellow line and that support level is around $298.23 we also see previous support levels that dated back to June 15 and if we were to move up higher to hit resistance that price movement to the upside is roughly around 3.4% and to the downside to hit the next support level that price movement to the downside is roughly around 74 basis points. So now let's examine the day by day probability model. Again these models are now available in the link below so do check it out. So as we progress to the 7th day we have a 60% chance for the S&P 500 to climb between 0 to 2.6% and to extreme case to the upside a 40% chance between 2.6 to 5.2% so it's in favor to the upside despite severe movement to the downside this week so now let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500 we have one day out that'll be a Monday and two days out will be a Tuesday and so on so we have three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so which one of these models we should focus on Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. Right here, we have a, our current trend as a blue line, and overlapping it happens to be the best match that we found in the past. So right here, we have our current trend, and below is the trend that we, again, found on the line graph above. And this trend dates back to July 8th to October 10th, or October 1st to 2009. So let's begin comparing the both trends. So on the current trend, we start off at the middle Bollinger Band, proceeded to average above the middle band, once again touch the middle band, and then again our second or third attempt at touching the middle Bollinger Band, and towards the very end we touched the bottom band, and towards the very end, or towards when we see the trend in question, we also start at the middle Bollinger Band, average above the middle band, touch the middle Bollinger Band again, and then a third time and then towards the very end we touch the bottom Bollinger Band so what we have here is one two three four five points we also have one two three four five points so there is reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same the outcome and forecast should be fairly same and the model that we just examined again it was back in uh, say July 8th to October 1st 2009 back then the S&P 500 reverse higher to climb 4.4 percent and one thing to note on the current trend we have not quite reached the bottom Bollinger Band compare that to the trend in question right here so the trend in the past is more forward-looking so we have not reached that quite yet so do take into consideration that the forecast may be lower than expected and if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model that coincides with this standard deviation of 40% chance before between 2.6 to 5.2%. So now let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model. 
So on the current trend that we're in, we're currently down 7% from monthly high, up 17% from monthly low, and down 2.5% from 10 simple moving average, down 3% from 20 day simple moving average, and up 1% from 50 day simple moving average. And now let's examine the trend that we just found. Back then it was down 4% from monthly high, up 14% from monthly low, down 2.5% from 10 simple moving average, down 2% from 20 day simple moving average and up 66 basis points from 50 day simple moving average. So among the two, two trends, there are technical similarities. And again, these models are now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.